I can't always get everyone as round as I can with this patient because it just depends on the tissue. But this is always the goal. Look here. This is the point of maximal projection where I want her gluteus to be. So that's what we have. And then I want the point of maximal projection of her hip coming out here. And so that's where we have here. And that's why she's so nice and round is these two points of maximal projection. This point here and this point are on that same line. So it creates that really nice spherical round butt. And that's just, you know, combination of where I'm putting the fat and also her tissue, which allows me to get that. She still has a really nice OG, which is coming into the leg all the way up. Okay, so this is just another example. Different patient, totally different tissue, different result. Same technique, same principles. This point of maximal projection here with this point of maximal projection here. And if I can keep these on the same line here, that allows me to get that very spherical shape. Can't always get it because there's a little difference in pelvic shape, but uh, it's always my goal. Now that's different than the OG. The OG is still here coming all the way up, coming up all through the key area up into the back. So that's how the two point of maximal projection points tie into the OG. These are giving you the, the roundness and the OG is giving you that outer shape.